Hey everyone, it's Executive757 here. Welcome back with another video. Today I'm going to fly on Garuda Indonesia on their Boeing 777 from Amsterdam, Netherlands to Jakarta, Indonesia. So this is going to be a very interesting flight. Stick around. So first of all, let's check in. Uh, basically, the check-in area was uh, very casual. There was there was quite a lot of passenger, but overall the process was very swift and fast. I got checked in as first class passenger because I thought it was a Boeing Triple Seven. They got definitely got some first class suite, which was not true because later on I discovered that the aircraft only has business class. But either way, we're still flying in luxury. I'm still flying, in you know. You know, very luxurious class rather than cheap, poor economy. So anyway, let's just get right onto the security, which were very, you know, simple. Then there isn't anything special. So here we are at the Aspire Lounge. I mean, the lounge itself it was very simple. There wasn't anything too crazy about it. I mean, it's a rental lounge. Uh, yeah, they got you know tons of you know sitting areas with a great view. But overall, it's just yeah, it's just it's just okay for me. It's nothing too special. And then you got the uh, Skipple Executive Lounge, which should be something much more fancier. But like, still, I mean, they got a big grand piano over here. But like, yes, yeah, it's just okay. I mean, the design itself was like eh, I don't know. I I cannot say, but uh, it was just decent. Okay, they got some pictures of. Uh, Jet Airy and then Garuda Indonesia. I mean, the lounge itself was just yeah, it wasn't anything unique at all. But like, I was caught myself trying to get myself some food, some drinks. I asked for the attendants for some menu, so he just basically gave me the first class menu rather than a lounge menu. I expect a bit more, uh, which is yeah, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, so like, I didn't want to scroll through the entire menu, so basically I just got like a glass of orange juice and then I just. Head straight out the lounge and aim for the gate, okay? So, on my way to, uh, getting to the gate area, I decided to pick myself some flowers, which I thought was a display uh, uh, stuff, but eventually it was not really something that is being displayed. You can actually get the flower itself, then, which is very nice. And then after that, I also get some, some airplane models, which is okay. It was anything special. And then I visit a gallery at the airport, I mean, like they got some really nice picture of the airline you know some very nostalgic picture and then that's pretty much the airport okay it's a very large skippable airport Ooh, and there's nothing anything special okay i wish i can tell you there's something special but there isn't okay right so i'm just gonna walk through the gate and then here we are we got the boeing 777 waiting at the gate area and let's just hope that it's gonna be an eventful flight Okay, welcome to the Boeing 777 from Garuda, Indonesia or Garuda, Indonesia Boeing 777. I mean the cabin itself was First impression it was wow. Okay, everything is customly made. I mean the seats are very realistic just like in real life uh, And then yeah, I mean like it got all the necessary functions from table bed to recline and you know all kind of shebangs, you know and yeah, and then after that, I decided to settle myself in a window seat with, you know, which has more privacy and stuff like that, uh, which is great. And then, yeah, and then they had an attendant flashed me for some orange juice, which I, you know, you know, to, uh, decided to order it and take it because I like drinking orange juice, okay. But like, uh, at, some, at one point, uh, when I hold my orange juice on my right hand, you can see that it wasn't really, you know, it wasn't really looking nice. So I decided to, you know, move my seat to the other side. So later in the flight, I can see the food or the, you know, the meals more properly. Because if I keep, you know, holding my orange juice on my right hand like this, 
it wouldn't really look looking nice. So yeah, I did what I had to do. Okay. Uh, so yeah, after that they gave me some cashew nuts and some towels. Very nice, all customly made. I wouldn't expect anything more from this airline. Okay. So let's just hope that they're gonna have a really nice takeoff and we're gonna have a smooth cruising. Alright, so here we are on the cruise, uh, we are on the cruise pad on, you know, 30,000 feet above the sea level. I mean, let's check, first of all, let's just put down the table, which is, which was animated very beautifully. I love that, I love the animation, very gorgeous, and elegant, etc. You know, and then let's check out the in-flight entertainment, like entertainment, which was very basic, there isn't anything special about it. Except, you know, it was, you know, a customly designed accordingly to the airlines brand which was yeah it is what it is i mean there's a couple of functions such as you know music uh, a duty-free store and some and an in-flight information which is a very basic in-flight entertainment nothing really special about that okay so let's check out the food which was a very the highlight of this flight okay even though i'm sitting in business class they still gave me some first class treatment they actually served me some first class food okay so top notch roblox aviation food so they gave me some platter of caviar which was very exquisite it was catered especially by the airline itself okay the food itself was like fantastic okay i couldn't complain uh, less and after that i decided to have an uh indonesian oxtail soup and some baked snapper uh with steamed both of those meals both of these dishes were catered specifically i uh, would catered exclusive by in Garuda, Indonesia, which is the highlight, okay? I love customized food and it's presented beautifully like this, okay? Because it just shows that the airlines really care when it comes to, you know, the, uh, your dining food, okay? Your dining experience, okay? So, great job, Indonesia. And then after that, I decided to have myself some uh, Pansia Black Card, which was something that is, you know, it just, it, it looks, yeah, just like all of the other two dishes. Which, uh, which was incredible, okay? I don't know how it tastes because I'm li because this is just a Roblox game, okay? Don't know how it tastes, but it looks really good. 
And then finally to end everything I decided to get myself some fruit platter uh, Which was Yeah it is a, it's a nicely You know display fruit platter With a lot of fruits on it And yeah I mean overall this was a very Excellent meal I would say 9 out of 10 Cannot complain Okay And then after that I the, They started to come in just the, the flight attendants decided to Dim down the cabin and we decided to you know took a nap. So I decided to recline my bed, set it, set my seat to uh, bed mode, and I put on the sleeping kit. And then yeah, that was it. Good night. All right, rise and shine. So like I decided to have a you know a bit of really nice warm coffee, and then they also gave me a re snack spot prior to the landing descending to Jakarta. So overall, this was has been a very you know great flight, and I really could not complain anything more. Okay, it was a really really good smooth flight with an excellent service. Okay, I mean yeah, let's just watch the landing, and after that, we'll give you my final thoughts on how did this flight went. But yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. So here we are in uh, Jakarta. Uh, it was in Jakarta. It was. It, it, I don't think it's named Jakarta. It's named something else. But like here we are in Jakarta. Okay, very beautiful city. Even though we, uh, I didn't actually visit it uh, in the game or like because you don't have it. Okay, so basically we just like at the airport itself. Okay, but the airport itself was extremely big, and you know it is what it is. So. Okay, overall, what was the flight like? Was it good or bad? It was good, okay? Straightforward, it was down good. Everything was excellent during the entire flight service, okay? I mean, I wouldn't complain anything, okay? Except for the ground service, which I think was very decent. It wasn't anything special. Except that I wish that they, you know, had the actual kill lounge on you. Know, they can, you know, build their own little, you know, customized yeah, uh, Indonesia or... Garuda Inugia lounge and stuff like that. You get my point, okay? I just expect a bit more and especially better get a damn lounge menu done, okay? If it would be nice if they had a lounge menu, a dedicated lounge menu for you know the the passive for the premium passenger, okay? Uh, but yeah, that's basically the fight. Uh, I would give this you know, a straight up 8.5 out of 10, okay? It, it's a really good flight, okay? I would highly recommend you guys to you know attend Garuda Inugia flight in the future they are currently hosting a quite uh quite a lot of flight frequently and yeah if you had a chance to you know one or two hours hop into roblox and you know get some you know experience yourself a really nice flight and there you go there's your go to go to go airline okay uh so that's basically it uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video this uh 
review i suppose i did they do reviews now okay but yeah great flight thumbs up indonesia see you guys in the next one and then thank you for watching okay just enjoy the rest of your if this end if this doesn't end yeah it should be ending by now okay bye bye